here we have been given a circle and we are told to inscribe a pentagon in it and for that we have to develop a construction here of course we know the radius of the circle so that happens to be the circumcircle radius of this pentagon so this is a known length and if we can find some other length say the edge here of the pentagon then we can start marking it around the circumference to construct it another way to go about it would be to find the in circle radius which happens to be the perpendicular dropped from the center on the edge of uh, this pentagon and uh, this length can be found in relation to the known length for example if you take this angle it is going to be 36 degrees and this unknown length ri would be rc into cos of 36 so like that we can find some uh, relationships maybe through trigonometric ratios and those analytical relationships can then be mapped into geometric constructions to solve the problem some other angles that might help us are marked here say 54 72 108 and so on and all of them happen to be the multiples of 18. Maybe we can use this fact to form an equation and come up with an analytical expression of their trigonometric ratios. Here, I have taken two angles that we encountered in the regular pentagon, 108 and 72 degrees, and further I have split them into equal parts, which also happen to be an angle that we noticed in the pentagon, 36 degrees. So 3 times 36 is 102, 108, and 2 times 36 is 72. Now together they are forming an angle of 180, so they are supplementary angles and we know the sine function of supplementary angles are equal. If you want more physical proof, you can think in terms of the height that is achieved by these two angles, 2 times 36 and 3 times 36 and that height is equal and height is the sine function. So we can start with the equation sine of 2 times 36 is equal to sine of 3 times 36. So here is our equation that we'll start with and in that equation I am going to mark this 36 degrees as theta just for convenience of writing. Next in this particular expression we'll take uh, the left hand side and write it or expand it as sine 2 theta equal to 2 sine theta cos theta while on the right hand side this 3 theta I am going to split into this sum theta plus 2 theta. Then I'll take this right hand side and expand it as the sine of the sum of two angles which is uh, sine theta into cos 2 theta plus cos theta plus sine 2 theta. Then in this expression we will take uh, this cos 2 theta and sine 2 theta and expand them further. So this cos 2 theta can be written as 1 plus 2 sine square theta while sine 2 theta expands to 2 sine theta cos theta. Then we are going to just open this bracket over here so that we can get uh, you know sine theta into 2 times sine cube theta while these two cos thetas uh, get multiplied to cos square theta. Then you will notice this expression uh, contains all sine theta or powers except this cos theta uh, which can be expressed as you know power of sine theta. So it is cos square theta equal to 1 minus sine square theta. That will help us get this expression entirely into the sine function and its powers. Uh, then this term here can be simplified by opening the bracket. So we would get uh, 2 into sine theta minus 2 sine cube theta. Then we will collect these like terms sine cube thetas and sine thetas. So we are going to collect the red terms and the green terms to simplify uh, the expression. So 3 times sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta is the expansion of this expression. Now from this expression a sine theta can be taken out as common and we will write uh, sine theta into bracket 3 minus 4 sine square theta. You will notice the sine theta is there on both sides so we can actually cancel it. So let's cancel this sine theta term. This 3 can be written as 4 minus 1 and in that expression if we look at this bracket we can substitute for that uh, to get a quadratic equation purely in cos theta. So this quadratic equation can then be solved to find cos of theta or cos of 36 degrees. So if we take these coefficients and put them in the quadratic formula, we get cos of 36 as 1 plus square root of 5, the whole thing divided by 4. Now let us see how to convert this into a geometric construction. So let us take this quantity cos 36 equal to 1 plus square root 5 over 4, which is going to relate the circumcircle radius which is here to the incircle radius. Once we have incircle radius, we can construct the edge. 
and uh, we are going to cook these little quantities one by one so start with square root 5 for that I'm going to construct one more radius perpendicular to the first one and I'll take this radius and copy it onto itself so now we have twice the radius over here so from Pythagoras theorem uh, we know that this uh, length or this radius which is which happens to be the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle uh, will be square root 5 times the radius so this distance from here to here is square root 5 this distance is 1 times the radius so the whole numerator can be had by just extending this line up to this point so this length over here is 1 plus square root 5 then we have to divide it into four parts for that I'll set my divisor to 4 and I'll just draw an arc from 1 fourth of this uh, segment up to this point and from this point I can start drawing a edge so let's do that from this point here I'll draw the edge of a pentagon to complete that edge I'll have to extend it till it meets a circle on this side and on the other side and then this edge can be simply rotated about the center so that one end of it comes and sits on the other and we keep doing that around the circle you can do this with your compass of course to complete the pentagon now the construction as such is over but can we make it more efficient for example here we took this whole segment and divided it into four parts in reality uh, we'll have to draw uh, the perpendicular bisector twice so what if we draw this particular construction to half scale so we'll have to divide it just once so let's do that I'll get rid of these arcs uh, that we had drawn uh, I'll, I'm back to uh, these two radii and at this stage I'm going to take the distance from here up to half of this radius so the same construction only done to half the scale and I'll get this arc I'll only extend up to this tip this time and for drawing the arc I'll be taking half of this segment that we have drawn so from here up to here which brings me back to the same point the same circum uh, in circle radius is had 